Welcome to MinnesotaSports.com. I'm Josh Cohen. I'm Carter Burkwest. Today we're talking about our Minnesota Timberwolves. It was a fun year, right? It all started with the Jimmy Butler trade. The Wolves traded for Jimmy Butler. We got all excited. It was the, the, the piece that was going to finally put us in the playoffs, which it did. So looking back at it now, one year later, what do you think about the Jimmy Butler trade? Did the Wolves win that trade, or do, would you maybe do it over if you had another chance? Yeah, uh, I might have to disagree with you a little bit. I don't know that I would classify this season as fun. Uh, I maybe had a little bit of fun for about a 10 game stretch in their beginning of the season when we were playing well. Other than that, I don't think it was very fun. I think it was stressful. I think it just made me more angry at the Wolves than I had been. That being said, uh, I think for this year, if we look at this year in a vacuum, obviously I think the Timberwolves won. I don't think you can argue that, um, being as though Zach Levine was hurt for a good chunk of the year and obviously Jimmy Butler took us uh, from 31 to 47 wins I, th I think I have that right so 16 win improvement uh, I think is huge and I think Jimmy Butler was everything we expected him to be if not more than that so I think yeah he did win the trade this year um, but there's no way you can grade this trade out uh, you have to give it at least another year to see a if Jimmy Butler even stays in Minnesota which no one no telling if he will or not because if he doesn't then you automatically lost the trade. If he's out, then you lost the trade, no questions asked, um, unless you win a title, which is not going to happen. But let's say he does stay, then you have to watch the development of Zach Levine, Chris Dunn. I know we're both huge Zach Levine fans. Um, I think having the combo of Levine, Dunn, and Markkinen, or at least two of those three guys, and trading Andrew Wiggins as opposed to those two, I think would have got you a lot better and I think uh, it's going to make a lot of Wolves fans regret the trade uh, a year or two years down the line. So verdict still out this year in a vacuum. Yes, the Wolves won. After that, I don't know. I would honestly at this point lean a little bit more towards the Bulls considering that I don't know that Jimmy's going to stay and I like the trajectory that uh, those picks that we gave up are on. So the Wolves did get the better player and I think we all knew going into this year that we were going to get the better 2018, the 2017, 2018 season. Especially because Zach Levine was coming off an injury anyways. Jimmy Butler, we knew, was a proven all-star. We knew that this year, those being the, the biggest pieces in the trade, the Wolves were gonna get the better end of the deal. We did get the better end of the deal. We made the playoffs. The, Bull, the Bulls were tanking at the end of the season, just trying to get a better pick. So if you look at it this year, like you said, obviously we won the trade. The Wolves were the better team this year, but, this trade, you will not know until years down the road and you see what Zach Levine's ceiling actually ends up being. If you see where Jimmy Butler, how long he stays here if he decides to leave and go somewhere else. Also, the Wolves' success on the court has to be weighed in, not just success compared to how terrible they've been the last decade plus, but what, what are you giving up when you give up Zach Levine? The thing that I loved about having Levine, Wiggins, and Towns together, they complemented each other so well, and they were friends, they got along, and they were bonded under Flip's vision. Flip brought them here. We want to eventually win one for Flip. I cautioned this before, that once you break that up, there's no longer this, we were brought together by Flip to win a championship for Flip. And so now you see Wiggins whispers about being unhappy as the third option. You see Towns, being maybe upset with Tibbs and maybe they don't fit together very well. And you're looking at now, are we gonna trade Towns? Do we need to trade Wiggins? And it looks like these pieces are all kind of unraveling a little bit. Jimmy Butler is absolutely a guy you want on your team. And I'm not mad about having Jimmy Butler, but it worries me once you started breaking things up. And we'll see, again, this year, the Wolves absolutely won the trade. We were the better team. But five, six years down the road, it'll be a completely different story. We'll have to look at it at that point. You can't truly grade this, grade this trade on one year's time. And we knew that when they made the trade, it's gonna be more of a long-term thing to see who actually ends up with the better player, the better team because of this trade. And right now, the trajectory looking forward, it doesn't look like it's gonna be the Wolves winning a championship anytime soon. Yeah, and I, I don't necessarily think, just last point, I don't necessarily think that uh, that trajectory has anything to do with Jimmy Butler as much as it does have to do with the coach placed around this team. I don't necessarily think you get Jimmy Butler without Tibbs, but 
Uh, if you had a different coach in place, I think the trajectory of the team would look a lot differently um, than the case. And I don't necessarily think it just has to do with the players, but you have to evaluate what's there, and I would agree with you. Yeah, absolutely. And this is not meant to be a bashing of Jimmy Butler by any stretch of the imagination. I thought he was a, a basically an MVP candidate before he got hurt with the way that he had turned the Wolves around. But again, looking long term, are the Wolves going to win a championship within this? you know, within Jimmy Butler's window versus when our window was three guys that are all 21, 22 years old and looking at the Warriors and the Rockets and what they can do. Is our window now in the next few years or is it maybe four or five years down the road? But wanna know what you guys think. Looking back at the Butler trade now, do you still love it? Is it worth the trade? Do you think we got the better end? Or would you maybe take what the Bulls have right now and maybe redo that trade if you had a second chance? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.